Hey guys, Angorchid222 here. Welcome back to Bait and Kados. In the last part, it took way too long to get through Wazden, and in this part, we'll explore Prisma, and then, I don't know, we might do show as a challenge thing if we get through. It's really cool to Yay for snowman. Snowman starting to speak English. And at this point I'm not actually sure what I'm supposed to do. I think this shop is anything more. And uh, yeah, there's some interesting things. Let's sell some stuff. <coughs> Yay for having a cold. For such bad quality images of bosses. Wow, it's way too easy to get money in this game. Might as well buy up the store. I guess we'll get the weed, and then everything else is just not worth it. Even though I still have tons of money. <laughs> Wow. That was dark. Oh, hey! What are you? Let's see what's in here. Oh, this is sweet. Literally everything is made out of ice. about, Wazen technically is a floating island. Yeah, that just takes you back the way you came. So yeah, the only actual place on Wazim is Cursa. Funny. Snow he's referring to is sparkling snow. Why do we 
Let's let's get do. There's no clear you have to do this. Let's keep going back to the castle and see what's up. Oh, I think I know what we have to do here. So basically he's crazy. There we go. Hey, isn't that a dragon? It's amazing. A creature of legend, still alive. Oh. Shut up, Mizuri. You already can fly. <clears throat> it's been a while, hasn't it, O White Dragon? I'll be asking you for your help again very soon. The dragon isn't even white. Please be ready. This is hilarious. So it looks like you have to do... Well, you don't actually have to do anything in the town, and all you have to do is see the dragon. So now we're off to this ritual, or whatever. I guess we'll just go up. <coughs> well, maybe that's the wrong word. It is, what a pain. Save point here, I'd assume that's the word. Your Majesty, all of you, please take care of yourselves. Can you show some emotion? We will, Barnett. I promise we'll be back with the ocean mirror. I'm not worried, Your Majesty. Are you all ready? Very well, then. I'll send you off to the Lake of the Dragon. Basically, we have a boss fight now. 
this boss fight is really strange compared to other ones. Of the Iceland. You must pass the test to prove yourself worthy of receiving the mirror. Oh god, it has even less emotion than Barnett. How is that possible? <coughs> this boss fight is strange, but not hard. Basically, you want to match whatever card they have with what you have. Get it wrong and you take damage. That's pretty much it. Towards the end of the game, you'll do another fight that's similar to this one. I think you have to get five successful hits in order to finish this. I'm not sure, but... Well... It's a lot, well, like, it's just really easy. Unless you keep screwing up like I am. Yeah, it's done already. <laughs> creepy at all. I mean, it's not... Actually, it's a combination of both what was said and how... Like, can you show some emotion? <laughs> but be prepared. Your possession of this mirror means the time has drawn near. When the mighty ocean must be released. Mm. Yes, I understand. Mother. That's your mom. This is awkward. So yeah. As rewards, we get another Sacred Wine, the Holy Grail, and the Ocean Mirror, which is the best healing item in the game. Thank the heavens you are safe! How did it go? Could you show some emotion? I have the mirror. Wonderful! I knew you could do it, Your Majesty! I'm so <coughs> proud of you! I'm not sure what's worse. The fact that it was that easy, or the fact that several other queens actually died doing that same challenge. Well, that's awkward. About two years ago, I had a dream foreshadowing the end of the world. Really? Queen Shella also had a terrible nightmare. It was then that she lost most of her magical powers. Something was happening to the world. The Queen decided to seek for answers on her own. She told me she had made a promise with her mother, the previous Queen to go and look for the cause. Oh. Queen Shella would never listen to anybody once she'd made up her mind. Crazy. Yet she was still afraid of the outside world and what was happening around us. All right. It was hard to know who would be friend and who would be foe. 
Okay, how long does this need to be? Then why were Leon and Graham with her? That's not exactly incognito. <coughs> Are you awake, Your Majesty? Yes. Sorry for worrying you. I'll be fine now. Drink this, my dear queen. So subby bullshit. It should cure you of any fatigue or dizziness. Thank you, Barnett. What's wrong? I suppose I used a few more herbs than you're used to. Nice read, Barnett. Like. Wow. It's funny how Cedar and Palolo get the most complaints, yet now, from just hearing this, in my honest opinion, Barnett's probably the worst voice in the game. I mean, Cedar and Palolo are both annoying, but they're not main characters. Was it too bitter? No, that's not it. Tell me, Barnett. Those who bathe in the light of the end Magnus, one who's transformed after touching the power of the evil god, do you think the mirror would allow me to bring them back? I would say yes, your majesty. The mirror should be able to free anyone struck with the cursed god's breath, taken by darkness, and return them to their former selves. Really? Yes, Her Majesty should trust this old nanny. I know you want to save that young man from the darkness. I would actually feel something here, but if Barnett's not, then why should I? I figure saving him may be your top priority. Barnett? <laughs> But I often wonder, whatever happened to those who banished the evil god long ago? A race of beings with mysterious powers, the children of the Earth, They're still have they disappeared completely? We don't have time to sit around pondering whether the people of those old legends exist or not to help us. Uh, I guess I did spoil something there, but... Yes, of course. Right. I'll be all right now. This was kind of, Thank you, everyone. This was kind of a spoiler there, but it's nothing major. We should be heading back. Queen Karelia, Duke Calbrin, King Ladikan, all the people of Sadal Su, Diadem, Anua Nua, Mira, and Al Far. Everyone's counting on us. Damn right. <laughs> Ibari. Let us go back to them. <coughs> yes, I'm <coughs> <a> double. <coughs> All right, then. I'm pretty sure I know. Like, I know where we need to go next, but I'm not sure if we're going to be allowed to go there yet. Hmm. Well, assuming I'm doing what I think I need to do, I'll end the part off here. So next time on Bait and Kato's, well, I'll find out what we have to do next, so see you guys then.